So how do we find the flag on the pre-ignition Hack the Box Lab? Again, guys, if you're not connected already, go back to video one in this playlist. But if you're looking for the answers and a bit of a walkthrough of the pre-ignition Hack the Box Lab, stick around because that's what we're doing right now. So we've got our starting point VPN connected. We've launched the pre-ignition lab. We've got our IP address. We've got a blank terminal and we are good to go. As always with these Hack the Box labs, we're gonna start by doing a quick Nmap lab with our favorite version switch. We're gonna paste in the IP address. We're gonna go ahead and run that while we go through the first couple of questions. So what is considered to be the most essential skills to possess as a penetration tester? Now, whether you agree with this or not, the answer they are looking for is dir busting, which basically just means directly bu directory busting, which basically means being able to enumerate through the directories really, really quickly. And I guess what they're trying to get at with this is having a base knowledge of the Linux file system is gonna be absolutely essential on your ethical hacking slash pen testing journey. So question two, what service do we use for Nmap scan to specify the version that to specify that we want to perform the version detection. So it's the flag that we just use, and you can see it's actually given us the version of the service running, uh, sorry, of the application running. So we know that it's hyphen small v capital, uh, small s capital v. Sorry, can't talk today. I think I need another coffee. What's, <laughs> what service type is identified as running on port 80 slash TCP in our Nmap scan. So we can see here that the service running returned from our Nmap scan is HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. What service name and version of service is running on port 80 slash TCP in our Nmap scan? And we can see here that we've got the Nginx web server application running and it's version 1.14.2. So we're gonna paste that over and submit our answer. What is a popular directory busting tool we can use to explore hidden web directories and resources? And the tool they are looking for is a very popular tool in every ethical hacker's arsenal, and it's called Go Buster. And we're actually going to use it in a minute, which is quite cool to get that flag. What service do we use to specify to Go Buster? We want to prefer, perform dir busting specifically. So the flag that we need to add is dir. Oh, it's not a flag, it's a switch. There we go. What page is found during our dir busting activities? So guys, it's quite a long command that we need to paste in. Uh, I've got it here in a file, just so you didn't have to watch me painfully type in. I still haven't sorted out my mic situation, so it's a bit awkward for me to type, but I've got the command here. So you can see it's go buster, dir, which is what we've just spoken about. And then we want to specify where our word list is. And on our local machine, it's in word list slash derby slash and then common text file. And then we want to paste in our target's IP address. And it's already came back with the answer that we're looking for. And it's admin.php. What is the status page? code reported by GoBuster upon finding a successful page. So it's status 200. It's the most common status code and it basically just means everything's connected, everything's authenticated and we understand each other. So submit that root flag. Now this is one of the ones where it's quite sneaky on Hack the Box if you've just started. Um, if you're a seasoned Hack the Box pro, I don't suppose you're watching this video, but your journey so far has revolved around this terminal. Now, this is where things get slightly interesting because we want to navigate away from this terminal. We want to open a new tab. And all we're going to do is take our IP address. Remember guys, IP addresses are, you know, it's just a website really, isn't it? So if we go to this website, we can see we've hit the Nginx server. Now we want to do a forward slash, we want to hit admin. And it's not found because we want to hit admin PHP. There we go. And it comes with this admin console login. So we know that whoever set this up has been really lazy, fingers crossed. So we'll do admin, admin, and we'll log in and save that. Hopefully we find the flag. Yes, we do. Copy it and paste it. And there we go, guys. As simple as that. I will see you in the next one.